Yo, what's awesome, up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to another Freelancer video I've got for you. In this video, I'll be covering all the weapons that you can find on Freelancer maps that you can bring back to your safe house for completely free. That would include the rare items, the epic items, and legendary items as well. Uh, the only thing I won't be covering is common guns. And the reason for that is because there's so many on different maps, it will be ta it will take a long, long time to get it all you know, to record all that stuff because those common guns that you will find on guards and in security rooms anyway. Everything else is I'm going to be showing. I'm going to be showing you the melee items, the common melee, melee items, as well as knives and stuff like that, as well as rare items, rare weapons, uh, epic weapons, legendary weapons. So I'll be covering basically all the maps except for Santa Fortuna and Dartmoor. And the reason for I'm not covering those is because there's no rare or epic or legendary items on those maps they're just common weapons on there there's nothing of value so i'll be going through all the maps uh, one by one no specific order it's just the order that came up on me when i was playing freelancer at the time so uh, you know I'll, I'll go i'll go through it one by one and let's see how we do i'll also show i will also tell you what common weapons are actually on that map as well but i just won't be showing you where they are so i'll be showing you a map link as well as me picking up the items to show you exactly where they are so here we go. Starting off with Mendoza. So the first thing that people would probably really be interested in is the Hackle 9S Covert, which is the suppressed pistol of the guard's ammo. Now, this will only spawn on Mendoza if there's a safe on the map, and this guy's guarding it down here. And he's... Every time I've seen it, is he's been a target. So that's the only way this spawns. It needs to have to be Mendoza with a safe around this area and the, and the guard will be hanging around this area and he will drop the weapon once you take him out so that's how you get the co the hackle 9s covert it's a good way of getting a suppressed pistol quite early into the game next is going to be the sapper's axe and you can find this in yates bedroom so if you just come on upstairs turn around it'll be right on the wall right behind you it's a good weapon to get because it has, I think it's quite expensive to buy from the merchant, if I remember correctly. Next item is the Bartoli Woodsman Hunting Rifle. This, this is the sniper rifle that you can pick up for free. So if you go to the sniper's nest, usually in the main map, there's usually a Sega 300 Viper there, but they've replaced it with this terrible version of a sniper rifle. It is actually a common sniper rifle, but though, but I thought I'd show it because it, just in case you don't have a sniper rifle and you've got sniper uh, objectives, you best to just grab it because it's better than nothing. Now, other common weapons you can find on Mendoza is a Bartoli hunting shotgun. Uh, some guards will be carrying it, and you will find, also find a Sega AR-552 tactical that you can collect as well. Next up is Paris, and I'm going to be showing you just the one thing, and it's going to be a saber. This is going to be a rare item. It will be in the museum. Just break this glass right here, and you'll be able to take this back to your safe house. It's another rare melee item. Other items on this map occur, including the HX-10 Common SMG, also a Fusil G2, and a Bartoli 12-gauge shotgun as well. You'll find them in the security room. Next is Whittleton Creek, and the first thing I want to show you is the... It's the HX-7 Covert, so this will be around Cassidy's house. There'll be a guard patrolling. He will have a suppressed SMG, so it's a good SMG to grab. So if you want to just take him out, he will be wandering around outside, and you can pick it up straight from the bat. Next thing you want to go to is Wilson's property. In Wilson's property, you'll find a baseball bat. So if you've been looking for a baseball bat, there's going to be one right in here. It'll be right on this table right here. Just go ahead and grab that. You've got yourself a baseball. Why not just go inside? It's open to Next up is the Emetic and Lethal Pills. This is a very good item to have. They're rare items. They'll be in the murder basement. You just want to go in there and they'll be hanging around in there. Just grab them both and you've got them. Other, other common weapons that will be on the map though are the DAC X2 uh, SMG, TAC4 AR Auto and Fusil G14C. They will be in Cassidy's Armory. Next is in Chongqing, so the first thing we're going to showcase is the chloroform. So you'll find a chloroform flask right here on the... Right here, there we go. And the other thing that's in Chongqing is the ICA SMG Raptor on a Elite Guard. 
As for Dubai, we have the DAC DTI and a Shaska A33 Covert. So if you want to get a suppressed SMG, a pocket SMG, very, very good handy tool to have for a lot of these challenges. My go-to SMG is the best SMG in my opinion. So get it. Grab the DAC DTI. It's a rare uh, SMG. It's going to be on this guard right here. You can also grab his disguise. It's a very good way to get his a powerful disguise at the start of the map as well. So he drops the DAC DTI. So it's a suppressed pocket SMG. And all the other elite guards are out here are going to be carrying the Shaska A33 Covert. So it's a sort of suppressed version of the Shaska. Again, very good assault rifle to have early on in the game. The only other guns on the map is the Bartoli 75R pistol. But as for Hokkaido, first thing I'm going to show you is the Tanto. So if you're looking for a katana, it's, a, it's actually the best katana, I think, because you can put it in your pocket rather than putting it on your back. So it's in Yuki Yamazaki's room, so you can grab that Tanto there, as long as you've got this disguise on. You can get in this room quite easily. There's some other useful tools on the map as well, so next thing is going to be a disposable scrambler. That's going to be in the security room, so you are going to need a lockpick for this, or a crowbar. So it's just going to be in this little uh, cabinet right here, so you can use the lockpick on that. Inside is going to be a scrambler. It's only for one use though, however. And just right behind you is going to be a police baton. So you can use that as a non-lethal melee. Again, both are common items. And the last thing I want to show you on this map is going to be a baseball bat. So go, again, if you're looking for a baseball bat, it's going to be one in the director's office. Excuse the mess. The cleaning lady hasn't been around yet. So you will need the director's uh, disguise for this. Or you can use the scrambler to get into this room if you really want to. But the baseball bat is going to be right here sitting on the floor. Haven Island now, and you want to go to the med clinic. And in the med clinic, you're going to find a modern emetic syringe. So common item. Also, there's some lethal pill jar in there, but you can't bring the pill jars back to the safe house. Not to my knowledge, anyway. Doesn't have a rarity attached to it. And again, next thing on my list in the security outpost is going to be a police baton. We already had one from Hokkaido, but here's one in Haven Island as well. So it's going to be in one of the lockers, lockers right here now. And the last thing on Haven Island is a pretty good tool as well. In the security room of the mansion, there's going to be a remote explosive at the back of the room. There's one enforcer in the room if you're wearing this disguise. It's a little tricky to pick up, actually. It's like a bit of an awkward angle because there's, there's a weapons crate right here, and this guy tends to just hang around. Hey, really annoying. But there's a space. remote explosive just right there. Back. But as, of, as for that, that's nothing else of note in Haven Island. But moving on to New York, there's quite a lot of stuff here, so let's go through one by one. First of all, there's a claw hammer right here in the garage area. So grab that. It's a common melee item. And the next thing on the list is a chloroform flask. You may have seen me uh, actually break into this cabinet several times if you've seen any of my streams this week. So you go and use your lockpick or a crowbar on this. And there's a chloroform flask just inside. Next thing is going to be an antique curved knife. This is a legendary melee weapon. So you want to come to the safety deposit room. You're going to need the safety deposit key or a lockpick and you get an antique curved knife. It's a legendary weapon. Next one is a burial dagger. This is an epic weapon. So coming to the left side of the safety deposit boxes, box rooms. And it's just going to be in the front of this guy right here. Next thing on my list as well is the police baton once again. If you go into the security hut on level 2, you'll find a police baton right on the table. Next thing is going to be a Tanto. So we've had one in Hokkaido. Here's one in New York. So if you go into the CEO office, again, you're going to need a lockpick or a key to get inside. Just look to your right as you come through the door, and there's going to be a Tanto right in the corner. It's a little pocket katana. Next thing is going to be a DAC X2 pocket SMG, and also going to be a folding knife. They're both going to be in this room, 
Also, it's going to be the, the robber's disguise. So you want to put that on to get the final item. So take out these two in the room. She drops a folding knife. He drops the DAC X2. You want to put that back robber disguise on. Because now we're going to unlock the golden sword off Bartoli 12 gauge legendary weapon. It's the best shotgun there is, apart from the fact that it's uh, not suppressed. It's the only thing that lets it down, but it does it only takes up one slot. You are going to need to rob the bank vault with this disguise on. It can be tricky, so you might want to take out as many guards as you can first to make this a lot easier, just like I did. So I took out pretty much everyone on the map, <laughs> really, to, to get to this done. So what you want to do is go in the bank vault. All you need to do is uh, use your keycard that you picked up, obviously, from a security, duck, or security guard. And uh, well, this is the security room of people I've knocked out earlier. Don't pay any attention to that. I just need to turn off the air condition. Hold on one minute. One more moment. There we go. Okay, now we're in the room. Make sure you get the bank vault keycard from the safety deposit box in the room. It's going to be just over here. Then you can use the swipe card on the swipe I just used. And use it on this swipe, uh, on this uh, button right here. So you go use this button to open the vault. Inside you can swipe the card again. And all you need to do is just rob all the gold from the bank vault. You don't need to take everything like I do. I'm taking it all anyway because I'm, you know, I'm pl actually playing the game in the background as I'm doing this. But there's also, I wanted to point out three as well, there's three coins in the bank vault. And if you pull the rack, you get a load of bonus money as well. So make sure you do that. But all you need to do while you've got this disguise on, really, if you want to just get the shotgun, that's all you're interested in, is just grab all the golden bricks that you can pick up. You can use instinct to detect which ones you can pick up. And once you've picked up all, uh, all seven that's available, a big pile of gold bricks will spawn right in the middle of the bank vault. And on top of it will be a golden shotgun right there for you. But these are the coins I mentioned that you can pick up. It gives you three extra mercers, as well as you put, if you pull the rack as well. It's a shame we can't take these imperial eggs back and sort of some sort of, you know, use them for some sort of value or anything like that. But unfortunately not. I'm just going to rob everything while we're here. Don't mind me. But yeah, right in the middle of the room, it's going to be a big pile of golden bricks. And there is your shotgun. Legendary. Now, moving on to Berlin, we have the modern sedative syringe and a baseball bat. They're both going to be around this location here. So you want to get use a lockpick or a key to get inside this little cabinet right here. Inside, there's going to be a modern sedative syringe. It's good to collect all these up. You don't want this biker's disguise ready to get around this area freely without any problems. Amen. And in Hirschmann's office is going to be the baseball bat. So this is the third location that contains the baseball bat. This is just right here. There we go. Next is Colorado. And there's going to be just one thing here. It's just modern lethal syringe. So it's going to be in the basement right here, sticking out of a teddy bear. Watch there's a crate right here on my way. Hold on, bear with me. It's going to be sticking out of a teddy bear right there. There we go. There's also a bunch of other machine guns on this map as well, if you want to grab those. Next is Isla Scale. So if you're looking for a Hackle 9S Covert as well, like we covered from Mendoza, that proves to be unsuccessful for you, then all you'll need to do is come to Isla Scale, grab yourself a shovel, and then come into this little uh, this calicombs right here, or this little tunnel. This is actually the best place to get the 9S cover because, you know, you need to be a little bit lucky with that Mendoza. Again, you need to make sure that safe is spawned on that map and make sure that guard is one of your targets to get that 9S cover. So this is a reliable way of getting the Hackle 9S cover. Next up is a rare melee item. It takes place in the catacombs, and it is a mace. So it's going to be sitting right here. There's also one in the penthouse as well, if you if you don't want to come down here. Next is going to be, the in the warehouse, is going to be a katana and a burial dagger. And a circumcision knife, so there's three things in here. So first is the katana, so you want to grab that if you want, if you need a katana. Which is an epic weapon. Next one is going to be a burial dagger, so that's going to be in the middle of the room. All of them are on the same floor, by the way. 
But there's the burial dagger, that's another epic weapon. And the final thing in the room is going to be a circumcision knife. So you can go ahead and grab that as well. It's a rare weapon. It's going to be in the corner of this area, so don't mind me at the moment. I'm just trying to, trying to record a video, and these guards are interrupting me. There we go. So you are going to need a crowbar to break these open, but it is worth it, because you've got three really good, uh, valuable tools there. Next up is going to be in the penthouse, and it's going to be a sapper's axe up here. And also the mace that I was talking about. So you are going to need to come up here with a league guard disguise, but the sapper's axe is right there. You can take that back with you, and there's a couple of maces right here as well. Last up is going to be in the Constance office, and it's going to be a saber. So we already had one in Paris. This is another one you can get. So if you didn't get the one in Paris, you can get this one right here. It's going to be hanging on the wall. All you need to do is shoot it to get it down. And that is it. Next up is Mumbai. So the first thing you want to be going to get for is the Bartoli Woodsman Hunting Rifle. It's a common sniper rifle. Again, it's the same one that we collected from... Uh, Mendoza, but again, if you it just, it's good if you don't have a sniper rifle ready. It's the worst sniper rifle there is, but at the end of the day, it's better than no sniper rifle at all. So if you are trying to check off some sniper challenges, you can grab this one. It's free. Just go ahead and take it. So it's just going to be a little bit tricky exiting it without a briefcase. That's the only downside to it. So next thing I'm covering is the folding knives. It's going to be in the Kashmir department outside, hanging off his uh, a door. And other things on the map to be noteworthy are, are really is the DAC X2 SMG, which is carried by some guards on in Rangan's tower, and a HX10 SMG, which is carried by some uh, some of the Bollywood guards. But that's Mumbai. Moving on to Marrakesh, there's also going to be a saber in the shoe shop. So if you go in the shoe shop, you can get a saber from there. Just behind the table, there we go. Also in Marrakesh is going to be a remote explosive. And that's going to be taking place in the in the tunnel. The evacuation tunnel. So it's going to be on a central table in there. That'll be a common explosive, but it's always good to grab these just in case you don't have one and it saves you a little bit of money. They don't cost a lot. I think there's like, I don't know, 500 mercers or something like that. But it is worth it. Also on this map, you can get, grab a shotgun there if you'd like. There's also a pistol on the table. And a Shaska A33 is carried by some guards. Now as for Miami, the first thing I'm covering is another baseball bat. It's going to be in this little uh, house right here. This little fishing house or boat shed or whatever it is. But there's going to be a baseball bat just right there. There we go. Next is the modern sedative syringe, and there's going to be one just in this room here. There's also another one uh, down by the medical bay, but you can grab this one here. It doesn't matter which one, really. But it's going to be inside this cabinet, so you are going to need a crowbar or a lockpick to get inside, and you can take that back with you. Also in the medical area is an amputation knife. So it's the only one that's on the, any of these maps, so if you want to go in there and grab that, it's going to be on the table. There's nothing else in this map that's uh, worthy of note, though. So, just grab those, and you're good. Next up is Bangkok, and you're going to go to Cross's office. Inside is going to be another baseball bat. So, there's another covering. There's quite a few baseball bats on all these maps. But it's always good to know, because there's always a few prestige challenges that involve a baseball bat. Next is going to be in Cross's bedroom. It's going to be a Tanto sword. So, in case, just think this is the third location where a Tanto could be. It's the best katana to have because you can just stick it in your pocket. But it's going to be laying on his bed just right there. And there we go. Next is Sapienza. And the first thing I'm covering is a folding knife. So just outside the Sanguine shop, there's going to be a couple of guards hanging around. There's going to be a folding knife just on the table. I don't know why it's there. But it's a little bit tricky to get, get it off them without you know causing distractions and stuff. And the next thing is another baseball bat. It's going to be in this little uh, little shop right here. So 
Again, you're going to need a lockpick or a crowbar. And you need to make sure that no one sees you do it. As I was recording this, I clearly didn't care for any witnesses. But uh, obviously you'll be a lot more careful than I do. But here's your baseball bat. Nothing worthy of note again in Sapienza. But Ambrose Island, there's a few things here. So first thing I'll be covering is an oil canister. So you want to go to where this place where they're repairing a boat. And you can take this back with you. So you can use this for several uh, challenges or several objectives at your safe house. Next is a DAC X2 Covert. It's a rare SMG, pocket SMG. But it's been held by Noel Crest. So it's a little bit difficult to get it off him. I used a Kalma 2 tranquilizer to get it off him. Making sure I didn't get spotted, but there you go. This is a very good SMG to have. Last thing I'm going to cover for Ambrose Island is the folding knife. It's going to be hanging out of a tree just up here. Other things on the, to note on the map, there's going to be another baseball bat, a DAC X2, a Bartoli 12 gauge shotgun, a Shaska A33, and a Fusil G14C. But that covers everything. And the, like I said, I didn't cover Santa Fortuna or Dartmoor because there's nothing on those maps at all, really. There's nothing. Nothing of note anyway. But So that's going to do it for this one. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've got a lot of information on that. Hopefully uh, that's useful to you. It's taken me all day to get all these clips and editing together. So hopefully you like it. Drop a like on the video. It does help me out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the little bell icon to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel. But like a lot of people have this month. Click a link in the description or click the join button next to the subscribe button. I shall see you in the next video or the next live stream. Take it easy. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.